Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. If you're new here, hello, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things. Uh, this is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today we're talking about the 2022 Toyota Tundra. Now, we're talking about fuel economy and pricing right now, but we have to talk about styling. The front end, it's big, it's bold, it's in your face, and it's caused the most controversy. Now, I really like the LED headlights, I think they're sharp and aggressive, but the grill's a little too big, and most people will agree. Now, I think with some slight tweaking or a facelift, this would be awesomely a sharp vehicle, but the side profile, it's big, it's brawny, I like the sharp body lines in the vehicle, a great truck silhouette, it just looks nice and rugged. In the rear end, I like the tailgate, it's nice and simple, but it has stamping in the back, which is kind of a cool retro touch, and depending on what trim you pick, will change the stamping, so I like that little attention to detail with nice LED tail lights. In the interior, the quality of the materials here are much, much improved compared to the previous generation, everything feels more modern, full of modern tech. You have nice uh, materials, like I said, but you can get a giant, giant touchscreen bringing you into this new modern age. But when you get that giant touchscreen, you don't lose any of the hard touch buttons. You have nice big buttons that are easy to use, nicely laid out, and you can use gloves while you wear them. Now, having that big touchscreen is full of new features. We have 360 cameras in this vehicle. We have wireless charging down below. This vehicle can sense the road beneath it and off-roading, so when you have that TRD Pro trim, you know what you're doing off-road. You can get, use those cameras to see what's in front of you, what's next to you. So having modern tech with modern conference and conveniences is nice. And you can get a lot of different color interiors that customize and personalize your vehicles. Now let's talk about the pricing real quick. The SR, that's the work truck, the bare bones model. Now that will come in at like $37,650. So yes, it is a little bit more, but as we go through the price ranges, the gap gets a little bit higher and it will be more priced similar to the new modern trucks. After the SR, what's well, the SR5? That's the one that a lot of people get if they want like a regular truck. They want a few of the necessities, some of the bare bones, luxury materials, if you will. And that's like $32,450. And then you just slowly get more and more luxurious and move up from there. A limited's after that, that's almost $47,000. Then a platinum, which is almost $59,000. And then the 1794 edition, that vehicle is almost $60,000. So the pricing has come up, but you're getting all these modern tech, modern features. You're also getting brand new power plants as well. Now everything's powered by a 10-speed automatic transmission. Long gone is that old 6-speed auto. But you have this 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine. Now that makes 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. So it's very, very powerful, especially compared to the old V8, but you can get a hybrid version of that. That one has 437 horsepower and about 583 pound-feet of torque. So that is an absolute monster. This is a modern power plant using hybrid technology to get you that maximum range. Now we don't know the actual fuel economies of that engine yet, but the regular V6 twin turbo charge is getting pretty good, about 20 miles combined, which is a vast improvement over that old V8 paired to the old uh, six-speed automatic transmission. But I want to know what you guys think. What are things you like and don't like about this vehicle? Do you think the styling is just too radical? Or do you appreciate that Toyota tried and will admit it is aggressive? And what other vehicles in this class would, do you like better? Are you a Ram guy, a Ford guy, a Chevy guy, or maybe a Nissan guy? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. It's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs. A little of everything. But please, like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.